guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So before we dive into this video of the cons when it comes to couponing, I wanted to state that some of the deals I actually mentioned in this video may not be valid when you're actually watching this video. So during this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the deals going on during Walgreens Beauty event, September 17th through September 19th. So if you're watching this video anytime after that, the deals in this video aren't valid at that time, but there's still some really valuable information in this video. So stay tuned. I decided to do this video because it was really a lot going on during that time and when things start going wrong I think it's really important to let other people know did you know that watching a video through the commercials really helps a youtubers channel out I know it might be hard to sit through commercials and ads I'd really appreciate it if you guys did not skip the ads in this video and let them play it really helps my channel out now let's jump into this what video do you mean where I got these coupons I got these coupons from your store one of the really fun frustrating things about shopping over at any store couponing is some stores might think you're committing a crime or you're doing something fraudulent okay and that's a big con to couponing because it's like you're coming at me this way because I'm over here trying hey guys, to save money. what's up and welcome back to another couponing video so y'all today is definitely one of those days that's why i'm here with the video of the cons of couponing now there's obviously a lot of pros to couponing and the obvious ones are you never pay full price for anything you're able to stock up on items give your family hundreds of dollars monthly and you can also donate items to friends and family and people they need so there's definitely those pros to couponing but honey i'm here to give you the tea and the real tea on the cons of actually couponing today Walgreens kicks off its beauty event and if you are not familiar with Walgreens beauty event I will leave a couple of videos down below for you to check out and will really show you some things that you need to know before getting started over at Walgreens when it comes to their beauty event their beauty event is when you spend $25 or more on beauty items you're gonna get 7,000 points so 7,000 points over at Walgreens for anybody who's new is $7. Now we never pay the $25 out of pocket. We always use coupons and register rewards and digital coupons to lower our out of pocket. But today, honey, this is what sparked the video because Walgreens is just all over the place and I'm not here for it today, okay? You guys, just really quick, I'm not an extreme couponer, okay? And what I mean by that is I'm not going to wake up sun up and to sundown and literally go hard with couponing and clipping everything and doing the deal 10 different times. That's just not me. I have a very busy life with isn't a man. I, I and my own, you know, things in the works. I don't have time to do this all day. I bring these deals to you guys because my channel is geared towards moms, women, grandparents, people out there who want to learn to coupon and save money and do things themselves. Like I said, I'm a mom of three, so I want to share things that I know and I learn with you guys and that's how to do things yourself. I have a whole playlist on I can do that. Saving money, motherhood, cooking. I have all those things in my real daily life that I bring you guys. So when I say I'm not extreme, I'm not going, I'm not going to be out here to sun up to sundown couponing. So the first con to that is when stuff does not go right, you guys, it's really frustrating because I set valuable time aside to go shopping. And when things start going left or left, <laughs> when things start going real wrong, it's like, it's frustrating because um, I've planned out and literally like I actually will write out, highlight what it's, you know, highlight what the price is, highlight the coupon, then what my out of pocket should be. Like I'm, I'm really taking the time to write down these breakdowns of what I'm going to do when things start going completely left. So I'm not that extreme at all. I just like to bring you guys um, to my channel as a mom who never wants to pay full price for anything. Big con is... Things not going right. Digital coupons not coming off. The whole transaction itself not working out. So to give you guys an example, because I know some of my couponers out there who have been rocking with me, who come for weekly deals and updates, are wondering like, girl, what is going on? So last week we got these $8 Catalina coupons, okay? And it says 
save $8 on your next purchase of any Revlon. Now, although I'm not the queen of like buying makeup nor using makeup, the benefits of doing Walgreens beauty event and doing transactions that you can get a really low out of pocket is that you're going to build your points. You get to get as many points back. And I say that saying as, okay, some stores will have a flyer coupon. Recently here, my stores haven't had flyer coupons at all, but I can work with the digital one that's in my app. Spend 25, get 7,000 points, do it over and over and over. I can do three transactions back to back, be fine. And um, some people will do it all day, all night, keep going all weekend, three days, not me. I don't have the time, but I do it enough to get me some points back. But this morning, Go over to Walgreens. I'm picking up these items. Because this coupon says you get $8 off, of three Revlon. They're right now, they're buy two, get the third one free. So I decide, okay, I'm going to use two of these in my transaction. One item is $8.59, the other is $8.59. The one that's free, you cannot use a coupon with. Okay, in that transaction, I also pick up some Shea Moisture Hair Care. They have the little, I think it's three, four ounce um, curling creams. Those are $4.29 at my store. Pay four twenty nine for one, buy one get one fifty. Two fourteen for the second one. I also pick up a nail filer, um, or you can pick up the Nivea cream. There's a couple of things that I like to throw in there to make sure your total is at twenty five dollars. My total is twenty five dollars and some change. After all coupons, my total with yes the two eight dollar Catalinas, a four dollar off two Shea Moisture digital coupon, and this five dollar registered reward should have brought my total all the way down to literally like thirty cents. Okay, we don't even get nowhere, y'all. The $8 coupon isn't scanning whatsoever, and off the back, I'm like, I got all like three transactions in my cart ready to go. Nope, didn't work. So it's really frustrating because I set aside this time, and now about an hour into getting my numbers right, because you know, couponing does take time. I don't want you to be new to couponing thinking, okay, you know, I'm gonna walk in and walk out. Some days it's like that, some days it's not, and that's just the God honest truth. Like, like I said, I'm a busy mom. I don't have all day to be in these people's stores trying to work out numbers. I set my Sunday morning to the side, literally from about 6 a.m. to about one, doing videos, getting my getting all my stuff ready for CVS to go. Um, and that's the time I have set aside for CVS. I don't have all of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to be doing all that. So that's one of those cons when it comes to couponing. The con is all stores operate differently, you guys. Literally, I'm not kidding when I say in the last couple of weeks couponing, some of the same stores will give me a different um, policy per employee, per manager. This store, like I, I really have about three Walgreens literally right here, right here. They'll give me different things. Uh, and it's so frustrating because the policy is never consistent like you want it to be. And so for myself, it's like, I don't want to A, get in line and you think like, I don't know what I'm doing. Because at the end of the day, most couponers know the policy better than the actual employee. Um, and then... B, it's like, it's just never consistent. Like you'll say something and then next week it'll be something else. So this, the last two weeks, the only consistent thing I've gotten with Walgreens is that when a digital coupon does not come off, there's nothing that they can do about it because when something pops up on the screen, they cannot override it. So they're saying what you need to do is if you really want these items, you can buy them, call customer service, they will issue the points. Now, in a couple of Walgreens videos previously, I have showed like you can go on Walgreens.com, go to the bottom, click chat. You can quickly chat with somebody. I kid you not, in less than like a minute and a half, they will issue those points for whatever coupon did not come up. That is that like, for instance, uh, the Crest. When my $7 off a of two Crest coupon wouldn't come off on my Honey's card, because I do deals normally twice. I have two household cards, mine, my Honey's. Most deals I just double up on. I'll do it on my number, use that digital coupon, that digital coupon disappears. Do it again on my Honey's card, it disappears. So I'm doubling up on the deals. When it didn't come off on like his card, I was like, okay, whatever. It just did not come off. But they're like, oh, you can pay $12.99 for these three toothbrushes because they were like $4 each. A $7 coupon was supposed to come off. I just did it earlier this week. So when I did it again, it didn't work. I have no idea why. There's like no rhyme or reason with stuff. And they don't even really know. They said you can purchase it. And then just call customer service and they'll probably issue you the 7,000 points. 
But I really didn't want to pay the $12.99. I could have rolled probably 10,000 points, paid like $3 out of pocket, but I didn't want to. It's just really frustrating because, you know, it's a digital coupon and you want it to come off, but there's really nothing that they can do for you. Another con to couponing is that coupon, some stores are not coupon friendly. A lot of stores look at you like, are you really trying to save? It's like, what? What do you mean? Are you not? With what's going on in the world, like this is the, one of the most valuable things that people can actually learn, to be honest, is how to save some money. So, you know, when you get that attitude, it's really frustrating. I just feel like there's these things when it comes to couponing that sometimes couponers might not really admit. I love couponing. Uh, even if I stop doing videos tomorrow, I'm going to coupon. But it is, uh, it's really frustrating because you take out all this time. And I don't want to say all this time. For me, my time is different, okay? So let me tell you, my time is different because when I shop, I'm normally making a video, planning it out, doing all these things behind the scenes that you guys don't see. So then when stuff starts going left and then I gotta get home and nap time is over, I have school with the kids, I gotta cook dinner, and I'm over here filming, writing out numbers, typing up videos, editing. That's what I mean, valuable time on my end. For you guys, it'll probably be way drastically cut in half because you're just in the store like, so it's not working? Why is it not working? I don't know. So it's been just a anyway, really guys. frustrating morning trying to get out at Walgreens and shop during this beauty event. There's a lot of cons to couponing at many stores. I pick and choose the stores that I actually coupon at because I don't have time for the shenanigans at all. But today with this coupon and not working, it definitely really, it really ticked me off because I set time aside to actually use this coupon and then to be asked, where did you get this coupon? I got it from your store. Your store printed out this coupon over the last few weeks and it's still printing as of today. So what do you mean, where did I get this from? Like I can buy an item right now and this coupon is gonna come right back out at this moment. But yet, when you try to use it, it gives you some error of saying that it cannot be used. And that is definitely frustrating. So I wasn't here for it today. Um, and as a couponer, Especially somebody new, that could be frustrating because when you do a deal that says you're going to get a $5 register reward for purchasing this, this, or this, when you turn around and you use that register reward at Walgreens, Walgreens then takes that register reward and submits it back to that company to get their money back for that coupon. So that's the frustrating part that when those register rewards don't work or don't print, Walgreens technically does not have to do anything about it because it's not their coupon. It's so the they company. have the Catalina machine that for certain items that that brand is um, advertising a coupon for, it prints out. So when something goes wrong with a, with a register reward not printing, this is actually unadvertised. This is not something that Walgreens is even advertising to say you get. So they can't honor anything behind it. They can't be like, oh yeah, in our ad we say we're giving this. No, it's not something that's advertised, like we're giving you an $8 coupon. You can't really contact Catalina and say, hey, my $8 coupon did not print out um, and they issue you another one. The whole point of using this coupon today was that it was going to take off $8 off of my total for each Revlon that I was purchasing, at least the two Revlons, because you can't use the coupon on the free Revlon item. It's buy two, get one free. Using two of these, that was gonna take off $16. Guys, that is high value numbers right there, $16. That's why using this coupon was very important this week. But when the cashier is looking like, I don't know anything about this coupon, the register's giving me an error, we can't take it. It's frustrating because last week, building up grabbing these to get these coupons i was using points with the baby lips and i buy a baby lips for five dollars and some change roll five thousand points to pay pay that little bit of tax get one of these did it over five times so i knew preparing for today's beauty event i would have at least a handful of these now i've used what like all those points to get these and now it's not working so basically i'm just holding off all together um didn't purchase anything right now i'm hoping in the next day maybe tomorrow i'll try it again these coupons will be working but in my area nobody is pushing them through they're even saying there's no way to push so anything that's gonna wrap through. up this video of the mainly all the cons to couponing because there definitely are those couponing con days where things aren't always going to go as planned and it is actually really frustrating especially for myself when I have 
planned accordingly and I'm a planner so I, I do like things to go in a strategic way but I understand things aren't going to always go right. I definitely try to kill them with kindness the best I can when something doesn't. Today I walked away politely and was like you know what it's okay I'll try again tomorrow but um, it's definitely those cons to couponing. So um, leave me some of your cons down below that really frustrate you if you are someone who coupons on a regular or if you're new to couponing and you're starting to coupon more but you just feel like girl this is frustrating here i'm sure we can relate this is just a few things that really really frustrate me when it comes to couponing and if you're new to couponing hey i'm gonna give it to you real and raw that couponing can definitely have its days um so if you enjoyed this video please give your girl a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time i post a video and i will catch you guys in my next video